A blessed day learners, it's me again, teacher Lumaban, and if you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, to be updated in my videos. This time our topic will be on social science, exercises, set 9a. I hope you learn something, and enjoy this video. Please share it with your friends, to also learn about this topic. Be safe, and God bless you always. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 What refers to the rightness and wrongness of decisions? Letter A Morality Letter B Depravity Letter C Blasphemy Letter D Wickedness Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is the letter A Morality. Morality refers to the rightness and wrongness of decisions. Morality is the differentiation of intentions, decisions, and actions. It distinguished as proper and those that are improper. What included in all educational institutions as part of the curriculum based on Section 3, Article 14? Letter A History Letter B Constitution Letter C Trigonometry Letter D Financial Management Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is the letter B Constitution. Section 3 Article 14 states that all education institutions shall include the study of constitution as part of the curriculum. The 1987 Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. Article 14. Education, science, and technology, arts, culture, and sports education. Section 3. 1. All educational institutions shall include the study of the Constitution as part of the curricula. Who has the power to declare the existence of the state of war? Letter A Senator Letter B Congress Letter C President Letter D Supreme Court Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is the letter B Congress. The power to declare the existence of the state of war is the Congress. The 1987 Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines, Article 6 Section 23 1. The Congress by a vote of two-thirds of both houses in joint session assembled, voting separately, shall have the sole power to declare the existence of a state of war. How long can an elected president of the Philippines serve under the 1987 Constitution? Letter A. One term for four years. Letter B. One term for six years. Letter C. Two term for four years. Letter D. Two term for six years. Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in five seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. The correct answer is the letter B. One term for six years. An elected president of the Philippines can serve under the 1987 Constitution of one term for six years. The 1987 Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines, Article 7 Section 4. 
the President and the Vice President shall be elected by direct vote of the people for a term of six years which shall begin at noon on the 30th day of June next following the day of the election and shall end at noon of the same date, six years thereafter. The President shall not be eligible for any re-election. No person who has succeeded as President and has served as such for more than four years shall be qualified for election to the same office at any time. What is a branch of economics that analyzes issues and processes development of international trade, globalization, and national income? Letter A Economics Letter B Microeconomics Letter C Macroeconomics Letter D International Trade Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1. The correct answer is the letter C macroeconomics. Macroeconomics is a branch of economics which analyzes issues and process development international trade, globalization, and national income. Macroeconomics is a branch of economics dealing with the performance, structure, behavior, and decision making of an economy as a whole. For example, using interest rates, taxes, and government spending to regulate an economy's growth and stability. It includes regional, national, and global economies. Which of the following considered as measures of the Philippine economic performance? Letter A Gross Local Product, Philippine Stock Market and Foreign Exchange Rates Letter B Gross National Product, Philippine Stock Market and Foreign Exchange Rates Letter C Gross Domestic Product, Philippine Stock Market and Foreign Exchange Rates Letter D Gross International Product, Philippine Stock Market and Foreign Exchange Rates Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1. The correct answer is the letter C Gross Domestic Product, Philippine Stock Market and Foreign Exchange Rates. The Gross Domestic Product, Philippine Stock Market and Foreign Exchange Rates considered as measures of the Philippine economic performance. The performance of the Philippine economy is monitored by looking at the year-on-year -year growth of Gross Domestic Product, GDP, which measures the country's output of goods and services during an accounting period. What is an economic system characterized by free enterprise and private ownership of the means of production? Letter A Market Product Letter B Market Economy Letter C Economic Ownership Letter D Economic Development Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is the letter B market economy. Market economy is an economic system characterized by free enterprise and private ownership of the means of production. A market economy is an economic system in which the judgments regarding investment, production, and distribution guide the price signals created by the forces of supply and demand. What is the manifestation of an economic concept? In 1997, some countries in Asia were hit by the so-called Asian financial crisis. The Philippine peso fell from US dollar 1P25 to US dollar 1P47 by the end of 1998. As of March 2005, it was US dollar 1 colon 54. Letter A financial rate. Letter B exchange rate. Letter C economic rate. Letter D financial crisis. Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 
the correct answer is the letter B exchange rate. The manifestation of an economic concept called exchange rate. An exchange rate is the value of a country's currency versus of another country or economic zone. Most exchange rates are free-floating and will rise or fall based on supply and demand in the market. Based on the United Nations Development Programme UNDP, Report 2004, how many people around the world are living on an income of US $1 per day or less than US $1 per day? Letter A approximately 1.1 billion. Letter B approximately 1.3 billion. Letter C approximately 1.5 billion. Letter D approximately 1.6 billion. Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is the letter B approximately 1.3 billion. Based on the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, Report 2004, there are approximately 1.3 billion around the world living on an income of US $1 per day or less than US $1 per day. Which of the following is not a concern with microeconomics? Letter A Factor Pricing Letter B Product Pricing Letter C Economic Welfare Letter D Gross National Product Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is the letter D gross national product. The following are concerns of microeconomics except to gross national product. Microeconomics is a branch of economics that studies the behavior of individuals and firms in making decisions regarding the allocation of scarce resources and the interactions among these individuals and firms. If supply is for microeconomics, which of the following choices is for macroeconomics? Letter A Factor Pricing Letter B Product Pricing Letter C Economic Welfare Letter D Gross National Product Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is the letter D gross national product. If supply is for microeconomics, gross national product is for macroeconomics. Gross national product, GNP, is an estimate of the total value of all the final products and services turned out in a given period by the means of production owned by a country's residents. What refers to the removal of power from the government over the control and slash or authority of an industry? Letter A governing. Letter B regulating. Letter C monitoring. Letter D deregulation. Choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is the letter D deregulation. Deregulation refers to the removal of power from the government over the control and slash or authority of an industry. Deregulation is the method of eliminating or reducing state regulations, typically in the economic sphere. It is the repeal of governmental regulation of the economy. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I hope you enjoyed, learned something new about our topic on the social science, exercises, set 9a. If you learned something in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends to also learn about this topic. 
If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos, hoping that we meet again in my next blog, and God bless you always.